So when you started dating, what age would you have been? Technically, I was 15, 15, 15, 15, and... Squeals and slaps your butt three times in a sexy way. Did Heavy the Squid send you a picture of himself in nothing but his underwear? Yes, he did. Why did you make a tweet saying that you were going to go live with her then? What she's doing to me is just fucking false news. You got some nerve messing with us in the Splatoon community. A picture-perfect vacation spot for parents and children. And for potential predators. It is incredibly disappointing that I have to make this video. The stuff that has happened, it is incredibly upsetting. Especially the serious tone that this video has in comparison to the ones that I've been uploading. But with all the evidence that is there out there on the internet today, I want to do my part in giving this as much attention that it deserves. And to basically summarize how bad it is, if we were to look at Delphi, Rogue, and the Unknown, and compare all three of them together, there's one thing that these three people all have in common. None of these people have engaged in a sexual relationship with an underage child. That disgusting thought of mind, unfortunately, is actually reality. A reality that was played out by Heavy the Squid who was previously known as Inspector Heavy. This video itself is going to be a summarization on all the information that has been delivered and submitted to the internet, especially by the user known as Pick Surprise in his video series called Channel Checker. Not long ago, Heavy the Squid, a 24-year-old man, was dating Ellie. A 15 year old girl. What age would you have been when you started? I believe it was July when I met him in the summer, and we didn't start dating until school started, which was September, and okay. technically I was 15. And... and even though the age difference is very obvious that Ellie is a minor, that didn't stop Heavy the Squid in turning this relationship into a sexual one. Actions which include sexual role-playing Wraps his arms around you and kisses your sweet lips and slaps your booty in a lovely way Gives you another French kiss, licks your stomach And sending this underage child real-life images Including an image where Heavy the Squid is wearing nothing but his underpants An image he thought was perfectly acceptable to be sent to a 15 year old girl who knows if you have images of Ellie on your computer, still to this day, knowing that somewhere in the world, alongside your Splatoon videos, you have child pornography. But the worst part about the entirety of this relationship was how eager Heavy the Squid was in going to move to America so he could live with his 15-year-old girlfriend. During the time of this relationship, Heavy was pretty dominant in the Splatoon community, which he seems to have taken to his advantage in sending white knights to attack other people. When you talked about not giving attention to people who troll you, is the best way to do that by making a whole compilation video about him and informing your whole fan base about who he is? During their relationship, it didn't take long for Ellie to realize how incredibly immature he was and how he would abuse his fan base to his advantage. Ellie had the fear that if she were to break up this relationship, Heavy would use these exact same white knights to attack her, putting her in a forced relationship. This experience has most likely affected Ellie in the terms of how she will now perceive relationships, but I believe that her actions should be applauded because if she didn't leave as quick as she did, she would have been probably put in a worse situation. After all of this had unraveled, a video appeared out of nowhere by the user Pick Surprise, who managed to piece together and reveal to the public everything that was said, everything that had happened, but most importantly, the ages between the two of them, showing with clear evidence to prove that Heavy the Squid was a predominant and active sexual predator. 
For someone like myself, who knew Heavy the Squid long ago when he was still known as Inspector Heavy, it disgusts me in realizing the type of person he actually is. After watching his video and seeing all the evidence that was required, I made a long post warning people about him and also showcasing Pick's video. And after all of this, we now enter the present day. And it is incredibly unfortunate for someone who could have seeked out mental health in fixing this problem of his, had decided to do nothing more but to run away from his problems and pretend that this never happened. He absolutely despised the video, to the point he was hoping he could flag it down. Even when all the evidence was out there to prove that you did what you did, you didn't want to admit it, claiming that Pick was nothing more than an attention whore. You were so baffling to publicly address that you somehow were the victim, and that the only people who should be blamed was everyone except you and everyone who believed in you. But I see nothing wrong in making as much attention as possible to a video like this showcasing the stuff that you did. You've already shown one child your naked body. And I don't want any other kid out there to experience the same amount of disgust and a forced dominant relationship that Ellie had to go through. One of the most biggest pathetic excuses of trying to defend yourself came from nothing more than your personal dick rider Omega. When I made my post and woke up the next day, I ended up waking up to this glorious response that he was willing to send to me thinking he was trying to be intimidating and was trying to resolve something. The first thing is the so-called evidence that he has to prove that you're innocent. His excuse for displaying this evidence was blocking the people who disagreed with him. That's right, Omega's solid excuse to respond to this entire situation was to claim he had the evidence and that you had to just believe him to prove that Heavy was innocent and everyone who disagreed with him, instead of showing them the evidence, you would be blocked. It's clear to see that you don't have evidence. But this leads to the second point, which is basically, even if you had the evidence that Ellie was the one who forced it, it doesn't matter. Ellie is the child, the underage child. Heavy is the legal mature adult. He is the one who is more informed about this stuff than Ellie is. But according to your response, age apparently doesn't matter here. Which basically means, even if Ellie was 10 years old and forced this upon Heavy, Heavy would have still been innocent, and Heavy would have still sent his images regardless of how old Ellie was. Doesn't that just bring up an absolute disturbing image in your head when you were typing this response to me? If this was meant to be your excuse for being intimidating to me, you've done the absolute exact opposite by proving to me of how fucking pathetic you are. If Heavy the Squid is meant to be the sexual predator of the Splatoon Gmod community, then you must be the fucking joke. The other thing I want to point out is how much of a grudge that you have. A grudge that you will build up in the back of your head for the rest of your life. She is going to live with the ongoing fear that every day you are abusing your power in destroying her public image just because you were called out on how true of a person you really were. I just want that Ellie should step down as a member of the Splatoon community because she doesn't deserve to be a member of the Splatoon community and not being beloved because what she's doing to me is just fucking okay, false you, news. Just like Donald that. Trump, but right. in an evil way. That's where I'm gonna have to It's stop just it. like Hitler. That's what I can call her. This f f thing, Ellie should drop it. And I, it's already five months ago. And what happened back then with me and her, it should be in the past. And she should forget it. Why? And then why the fuck was she was she was she just saying that I'm a pedophile then, huh? It should, it shouldn't be for no reason whatsoever. She has no evidence. She has no evidence. She has no evidence. She has no evidence. If I would be a pedophile, I would just rape kids 
for like six year olds in real life, but I never do that. But she no she, she she treated me like like an asshole. All what you what you're claiming about me, it's false. And you should you should, you should stop lying. Oh, just fucking uh, jealous uh, because I never get okay. so much subscribers to this fucking channel. She's still a minor, and you're a full grown adult. Ellie was 16, you, you are almost 26. Heavy pedophiles don't have to be gay. Well, she's, yeah, but if, but she pulled up this role play, not me. He basically bribes you into the role play in she, order she to... She brought up to the role play just to pull up a trap, and she's making me as, as, a, as a culprit. And after all of this, you went on a hiatus for one day, then came back like nothing happened. So you could continue making videos, continue believing that you were the good Samaritan, continuing engaging with people who were the same age as Ellie or even younger, while sitting back and hoping that your childish fan base have some sort of threat when they try and attack Pick for making the video. Why did you inst- those heavy and quads. Hey, Stop uh, lying, punk, because I know you did that. Cause you made one bad move. Well, watch out, because my sister is going to expose your ass. All right, what the fuck? You got so nerve trying to break us, break this Splatoon community apart. Oh, but I... we're not going to have that, because we're what? coming for you, punk. <laughs> Leave the Splatoon community alone. <laughs> And go fuck yourself. My boyfriend is literally right there, so... <laughs> so you better watch out, punk. Listening to something like this to think you pose a threat? You're fucking pathetic. But more importantly than that, you haven't learned anything. Which means you're willing to do this again. You're willing to engage in another underage relationship. Who knows the secret stuff that has still private that you really sent to Ellie. This video alone plays as a caution. A caution to everybody who interacts with Heavy. To be aware on the type of person he is. And the stuff that he believes is perfectly acceptable to do. And if you really want to blame me for bringing attention to this. I want to summarize this very clearly. The main person in the world that did the most amount of damage to your reputation. Was no one more than you yourself. You're the one who engaged in this relationship. You're the one who roleplayed. You're the one who took that image. And you're the one who publicly wanted to move in with this person. But if you're willing to still associate yourself with this person, then in the end, that's your fault. If something happens and you're dragged along with it, don't come crying to me when he sends you nothing more than himself wearing nothing but his underpants. Heavy the Squid, you are fucking disgusting. If you're not willing to change yourself, I want to publicly openly say, go fuck yourself. Because no one else will ever want to. We got phone calls from him for months. And he was downright mean. He blamed us for his situation. I was going to explain to her mother how I come to be here. And how are you going to explain that to the mother? By telling her about the chat. You're going to say, hi, I was cruising a chat room. I started uh, talking to your daughter. I asked her if she ever masturbated. I asked her... Squeals and slaps your butt three times in a sexy way. 